for me. Oh, okay. Because that's why I had to push the button and come over. Yes. <laughs> this is Vicky, also known as Dragonfly7673. And this is Tiffany, also known as Mojave Knitter. And it is 2.30 on Sunday, May 5th. Um, we're recording today because she's here. She we have won't. the time. <laughs> we have the time and we realize that we actually do have a lot to show you. Plus we figured you could, guys would know that we're okay. <laughs> we're, you know, everything going on with our dad and the family is, we're saddened, but we're carrying on. <laughs> and figured this way would help to like get back to doing a more normal. Non-crime, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the per for, for the person who said that the very first one she watched was last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she sent a very nice note, but all I'm thinking is, oh no. <laughs> really? This isn't the one I would want for your first one. <laughs> so. Alright. Um, I have lots of stuff to show you because stuff has just kind of shown up. Um, and she's actually gotten a lot of knitting done for us. I've only sort of gotten knitting done. Yeah. So where do we want to start? Uh, how about knitting projects? Okay. Well, I can show my finished items. So let's do the one I did for April, the Sparkle Project, which I already posted in the thread. Which is good since April's over. Yes. Um, I will draw for the April thread while we're recording, which means I should look up what we're going to need. And I'll just talk about the scarf. I made a sparkly scarf, and I'm not really sure the sparkles will show up on here. Yeah, but maybe if we go like this and move it, wiggle it around, the sparkles will show up. <laughs> because that's usually when it shows, is when it can yeah. catch, and then as soon as it focuses, it stops again. Anyway, this is a couple years ago. Actually, oh, it's from 2008. I have the Page Day calendar, and it was knitting projects, and this one's called the And Andrea... Andrea Reversible Lace Scarf, and um, I think it's actually a free pattern too that you can find on Ravelry. And then the yarn is actually Lotus Yarns Who Doesn't Die Anymore, but this was her, it's her Aura base, which is Merino Silk Nylon and the Pure Silver Strands, which makes it sparkly. And it's called Walking with a Ghost. So it's a nice, pretty, variegated gray. Yeah. It's actually going to, I don't really, didn't knit it for me, but I didn't knit it for anybody in particular. It's just going to go in the gift pile for somebody down the road. I don't know who. Actually, let's, I'll just do my sparkle and then we can draw at the same time. And there we go. That works. Um, this was my sparkle project, and I got halfway because that first set of beads was done, and the second set of beads is in here. Um, but... I left it at my parents' house, so it didn't get any farther, and now that it is not Sparkle Month anymore, I probably won't work on it because I'm not that much in love with it, but I'm thinking maybe I'll pick it back up in August when we have that weird green color, that oh, peridot or whatever. Yeah, because the beads are the same, that bright color. That yeah. works. So, maybe I'll finish it then. Um, so, that was, and you guys already saw that I had the Sparkle Bat finish, that I showed you that last week, so... That one, I just got back this weekend, so it was too late. But I looked, we had 62 posts, not counting, well, the number one is me telling you what the prize is, and then there were 62, so I got two through 62. She does. <laughs> I'm not going to try and show it, because it's too far away. 11. 11. It said 11. <laughs> so that'll be first page. Yeah. Of course, I'm on the last page because I was looking to see how many we had. Oh, Flancers! She's your archaeology friend. Yay, Flancers! <laughs> you won! And I just lost it, but I saw it! Aw, oh, if it had been number 10, I could have won. <laughs> <laughs> She did the Three Willows Cowl. Okay. It's uh, mostly like an orangey red, and then it's got pops of blue, green, and different colors in it. And I have seen close-ups. It, it, it has sparkle pieces in it. You can see it. So Francers 
She won. And we talked to her on a semi-regular basis since we figured out that she's an archaeologist and she's an archaeologist. So we talk archaeology sometimes. <laughs> okay. I, I one day said, hey, do you know my sister? And she said, no. <laughs> so I'm now pork friends with her. Yeah. So, all right. Then I'll segue into my finish. I finished May's project. It needs to be blocked. But given the, you know, since I'm flying out tomorrow and came here today, there was, I couldn't really block it. I can't block it till I get home because it won't be dry. But I finished knitting it yesterday. Yep. And she actually wove in the ends. She just hasn't trimmed them until yeah. she blocks. I usually weave in ends, but don't trim them until after it's blocked. This is the um, Lazy Katie shawl that I actually was gifted by Roz last year for my birthday. Who gifted me another pattern this year for my birthday. Um, so, I finally decided to knit this. I actually cast it on the day before my birthday. So, and the yarn is the Jaw Wall Magic. I actually have one. I used up. Just used an entire skate. You have a small little kit. Yeah, yeah, I have a lid. This. Yeah, here we go. That's how much I have left. <laughs> but it's J Wall Magic. And it's the color name is 1009. It's very, very, you know, creative. And since she's not using that one, later we're going to go upstairs and swap because I have different colors of that kind of yarn. And, and I like the green. I like how the green came out. Yeah. I don't think I would have picked it, but once I saw it knit up here, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. So, and actually I'm also going to enter this in the stack and add zombies striping cow because it's striping yarn. And it's striped. So... They have a, you know, cow. You're a cow, so. So she's entering that for May, which is emerald. And for emerald, it can be any sort of deep green. And I was actually even looking at, like, what, um, I mean, if you Google emerald, and you, you'll bring up, like, clothes that are supposed to be the, an emerald set. And they're kind of more of a teal emerald. So this is actually more, this is called woodland sage. But it's a little more on the teal side. But I'm going to go ahead and count this as an emerald project if I get it in because it's a deep, deep greeny color. But I also have this green uh, fiber that I'm going to spin up, which is a totally different kind of dark green. I mean, they're. <laughs> yeah. But when I was looking at emeralds, any sort of dark vibrant green counts. Um, I might do this as socks for green. I haven't decided if I have the time and energy. <laughs> um, the socks I want to do are the Laybourne socks, which are... I don't have the pad. It, they kind of... Uh, you, you slip one stitch up and another one down, so you kind of end up with almost like this little butterfly. Oh. Um, they're pretty. but I, And they look good with... Uh, variegated yarn, so that's why I was going to pick that, use that, but, so any sort of dark, bright green works, and partially I'm counting this because, hey, it's my birth stone along, <laughs> I can count, <laughs> and you guys know I'm not particularly picky about it, it's been yeah. just mainly for fun, I'm not ever going, you know, that doesn't have quite enough pink in it, you need, <laughs> it's just not, <laughs> I mean, even like the sparkle, we're just kind of mostly trusting people that stuff had sparkle because the sparkle doesn't show very yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, and then my other, oh, my other emerald project. Other, oh, there's just stripy socks. I actually have one done. Um, but it has a bright green stripe. Yep, it has the bright green stripes in it. And it's the Socks on a Plane by Lala. So it's one of her patterns, free patterns. Yeah. And I do have... That's Lala of the Knit Girls, if you don't know. Laura Lindemann. Yeah. And... So if you're looking for the pattern, it's actually under Laura Lindemann, I think. Yeah. Although I think you can just... It's, it's Lala Knits, or... Yeah. I, <laughs> I she has a Ravelry group, too, that's called Lala Knits, so you can also find links through that as well. Yeah. Um, but I started the second one. And this uh, is Vesper yarn, 
Which actually I think I bought off of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you did. And it's uh, called Tartan. Tartan? Tartan. Tart you know something? I think I bought that from Lala. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now it's made of little less bad. I know I bought one from her. I'm almost positive that's the one I bought from her. Yeah, well, anyway. That's sauce. kind of funny. <laughs> so. Yeah, I have... Because we, we went to go see Iron Man 3 yesterday, so I actually worked on the twitchy, the current twitchy socks, um, which actually I did get twitchy in the movie. Like, I hadn't pulled them out, and all of a sudden I was like... Huh? <laughs> so finally I reached in my purse and grabbed them. <laughs> Surprised you didn't grab it sooner, but... When I'm with the, with the gang, I sometimes feel weird, but I usually end up grabbing them anyway, so I don't know. I mean, they know by now. But anyway, I was just finished with the purple, starting the yellow-green. Um, so anything, the yellow-green, the pink, and the bright green, that was all done during the movie. So, and it looks like it didn't do anything weird, so. Didn't drop any stitches. Nope. But I haven't, those are the ones that just sit in my purse and they pretty much are only movie knitting or yeah. like if I go to a doctor's office or something. Because if I'm going someplace, like when I went to go have my car worked on, I actually brought a real project with me because I knew I was going to be there for two hours. Yeah. These are actually, um, there's another Ravelry group called Solid Socks. And I just recently joined it because they're actually Lala put out a pattern, which I didn't end up knitting. But they do mystery knit alongs like every two months. But this one I did start because I found this. It's actually Knit Picks Essential Yarn in the, uh, it's Auburn, it's their kettle dye in an Auburn colorway. And I thought it would be pretty in this pattern because it's a very cable-y, lacy kind of pattern. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to take a picture and post it in. I'm, yeah. We will be trying to post stuff. I, I may end up putting all the pictures at the end just instead of trying to figure out in the midst of our talking where to slice it. Yeah. But yeah, I I did do some goose on this one, but I didn't feel like ripping it out. I I I have it in my notes with some of the boo boos I did. But anyway, it will be a pretty sock. I am like really behind. Some people have actually already finished like the first sock, but I started late, and there's no way I'm gonna finish it by end of May. So it's just for some reason I decided I wanted to. What was the name of that? Pattern? Oh, sorry. It is Hi Tiggies. Not on that page. Nope. <laughs> it's not. Simarine. C I M O R E N E. By Becky Green. Uh, tiggies. <laughs> <laughs> Tiggy, get jump. down, Tiggies. <laughs> no, not you too, Missy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties. Technical difficulties called cat. Yes. That one's technical and she's difficulty. Although right now he's being difficulty. <laughs> Since he's the one that keeps jumping up. No, Missy. <sighs> Alright, I'm really sorry that anybody gets seasick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you guys have never seen the iPad before. But it's in a new location. <laughs> That's why. So those are my active projects right now. I do also have been knitting on and off the um, preemie hats, and I'll probably knit a preemie hat with that leftover stripey yarn. And I actually decided I want to do the same type of cable up the hat, just thought it would be cute. Yeah, it's a nice little cable. Yeah, so I got it. So. Missy, your ears are in the camera. <laughs> you guys are going to get the furry thing. <laughs> Uh, I need a squirt bottle. Sit there. <laughs> Especially because they're just far enough away that we can't <laughs> throw the yeah, other things at them. Yes, especially without making it worse. Um, I didn't really say, but the, the shawl I was working on that I showed you that I'm using for my May project is the Firehawk by Hub. <laughs> oh, we oh, no. <laughs> Plus that, I bet they don't do that again. <laughs> well, that part you could delete. <laughs> we had a little bit of an issue with the cats. So. Yes. 
So, hopefully I deleted out the Mongo crash. <laughs> or at least took the sound out if I thought it was... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what I started to say is that the shawl I was working on was Firehawk by Heather Zapetti, which you guys have seen before, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But um, It has the single color for the border, and then two colors part for part of it, and then you the other color at the top solid. So it's coming along. I haven't worked on it as much. Like I keep having, last weekend I did a lot of spinning and knitting because I was by myself and I just kind of was getting through things. This week, every day when I've come home, I've just kind of had it near me and like I get like half a row done and I'd be like exhausted and ready to go to bed. Like I was going to bed early every night, which I think is just dealing emotionally with everything we've been doing. It's been draining. Yeah, so, and even when at the house, I didn't really knit that much. I knit more at the movie theater than I did the entire time I was... The only time you were knitting is when you were working from home and you were babysitting stuff on your computer. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, Friday I was, I had a uh, job running, so I was just, like she said, I was babysitting the job and then I was knitting, so I got some rows done, but that was the most I knit all week on that shawl. Yeah. So, it'll get back to normal, I'm sure, but... It's just kind of weird right now. Well, I'll show my birthday yarn. There you go. Then I got my birthday as a family the, because it was so weird. They actually were going to package things up and mail it to me, which they've done the past few years because I mean I live out west and I'm not coming home for my birthday. Things changed, and actually I saw this bag of yarn hanging up by my mom's stuff and I actually thought she was going to be doing something for the store. <laughs> I honestly did. I didn't look at it. I just saw it was cascade yarn. Figured she was going to do some type of store it was, it was The labels are against the bag enough that you could kind of see through and mom never moved it because she wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, because they were going to just package everything up. They didn't need to hide anything from me because I wouldn't be there normally. <laughs> But I didn't look in it. I was just like, oh, hey, what are you going to do with the yarn? Oh, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> but it's actually from Vicky. There is the, it's the Delancey cardigan that I was gifted last year by Hot Ass Knitter um, for my birthday. And I've been wanting to knit it for a while. And there's a girl in my knit group that really wants to knit the cardigan too. And one of the things I asked for was yarn to knit it in. And I just, I liked the ones where they were a lot more contrasting. The two colors popped more. The stripes pop out. So so what she told us she wanted a purple and a green, and she wanted them to be very pop contrast. So, and we actually went through a couple times looking at stuff because the first yarn we picked wasn't, when we actually got it at the store, it wasn't thick enough. It wasn't, yeah, it, it was, was, it was going to be really, really whole, if you got gauge, it was going to be really loose knitting, it would be full hold. Yeah, and I would have to like really, I guess probably really adjust how many stitches or whatever. Yeah, it was going to be kind of a pain, so then we, we kind of went back to the drawing board and we were looking like online and stuff, and finally, um, mom and I were talking back and forth, and then I went to the store and I, <laughs> we had picked these. <laughs> yeah, so it's Cascade 220 Super Wash, which is good. Yarn for sweaters, you know. Um, I know people have made sweaters out of the Cascade before. So I have a purple, color 803, <laughs> and then on this nice olive green, 1919. <laughs> so the bulk of the sweater will be the purple, and then there will be this stripes of the green. So. Yeah. And she actually has extra purple because just in case we didn't want her to have to deal with having a dye lot issue at the end and and then I have plenty to swatch with because you really I should swatch for the sweater. For sweater you should. Yeah. And like well, I said and if you have any left over you can knit a purple hat for Katie in the fall. Apparently I'll have to knit a hat for Katie for the fall. This has been told. Well, especially now that I know Katie watches so now I've just like promised that you're going to knit a purple hat. <laughs> Actually, that's what I told what I even told mom when I when we picked it out because I said, and if worse comes to worse, if she has extra, she can knit purple hats for the. And I was telling mom about the shaken baby syndrome and the purple hat drive. So yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> so we yeah. also got my son got her giant unicorn slippers, but we don't have them here. 
No, I mean, actually, because they're just so big. I mean, they're squishy, but they're big. That's just, I would not have been able to fit them in my luggage, even though I'm actually adding a checked luggage and just using the tote bag from the funeral home as my carry-on. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so, it still wouldn't fit, so. No, it wouldn't have. But that you uh, could add a link to the ridiculous video about the... Uh, I, can, I can add a link and I can post the picture that we took of your feet. Yes. So I'll put that at the end too. Yeah. Um, they are pretty... They, actually, I think I like the photo I took of my feet better. Well, that's fine. Then you can, yeah, you'll have better. to send it to me. Yeah, I can do that. Um, anyway, I have things that came like in the mail like the last couple weeks. So... So I got um, Hillary of Hippie Penguin and Mary Gale of Spartacus Dies. Um, they both also have podcasts. Um, Hippie Penguins, I think it's just Hippie Penguin Fibers, I think is her podcast. I don't watch either one of them, so. And Mary Gale's is Exchange Student in Fiberland. Um, but they both have podcasts, they both have dying. They teamed up to do a club call for that's the theme is the county fair. So I got my first shipment of yarn. Um, this one is done by Hillary of Hippie Penguin. And I'll post better pictures of you. But this one is watermelon. So like getting a watermelon at the fair. And it definitely looks watermelony. Yes, it does. So it's got the, the, the pink uh, kind of has some more tonal to it and then the green and I like it, and the white's like the rind, so that's very pretty. Um, I also had ordered the first or second night after Dad passed away, um, the Loop had a um, had just posted an update, and I saw this bat, and I thought it looked really pretty. And then I was like, I don't need anything, I have lots of stuff. And then an hour later I looked and the pre really pretty one was still there. And I waited again and right before bed I looked and it was still there and I went, well I'm really sad so I could use at least one shopping thing. I mean I didn't go crazy and like suddenly go shopping all over but this I think is just gorgeous. And I will admit I don't always like Loops colorways because sometimes she'll have something and then she'll put like a pop of green or something weird color that I don't always like. But I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous, and I have a different look back too, but I actually like this one better. <laughs> so, I'm not sure when I will be spinning that one, because I'm going to spin the, I'm definitely spinning the green one first for May. So, I may save that one for a little, well, I was thinking sapphire, but it's actually more purple than blue. It has blue in it. Yeah, but it's really, the blue is really small. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I can. I don't. It's my, my birthstone so long, and I don't think I can justify that one. <laughs> I don't think it's quite enough, but oh well. Um, and then I also got this is a kit from Knit Picks. And I might. She's also on Ravelry, and she has the PDF. I may pay the four bucks to get the PDF version because. I know I'll destroy this eventually, um, but it is a color work hat where you use one solid and then one slow color changing, which in this case for Knit Picks is designed with the, the chroma solid and the chroma color changing. So they have a few colors of solid. I want to say brown, black, and black, brown, black, gray, and cream. I think that's right, yeah. Um, where they do a solid where it's made to go together. So these are fingering weight. Um, I partially got it because AJ keeps giving me crap because I don't have any hats. <laughs> okay. He keeps saying I make hats for everybody else, but I don't have a hat. And I thought this was at least a free hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I actually have a couple hat patterns, and I've just I've never made myself a hat. I made best friend a hat, I made dad a hat, I made AJ a hat, I made AJ a couple hats. 
You know, the last hat you made with your sparkly bag, you actually gave to Mom to give to Casey. Yeah. So. Well, and she's been really... Casey's a friend of theirs, and I don't know her as well, but she's been really nice to AJ and, like, sending stuff home for him and stuff, so... Yeah. So. And when I ordered that, I also got this book, Spinning Wool Beyond the Basics, by Anne Field. I have barely cracked it open, so I can't really say anything about it, so I'm not even going to try um, and then I got a phone call from some woman that I didn't know, so I didn't answer the phone at first, and then it turned out that when I went to YarnCon, I actually won a raffle prize, so I got getting started on a drop spindle, because she just, she said, you won a prize, I'm just going to pick something at random and send it to you, so I got this video, I have not started looking at it, um, I will eventually. Or I may save it and make it a prize someday. I don't know. You have, there you go. Okay. Yeah. It's like you have one more one prize. Yeah. And then, um, Lemnit Crochet had done, <coughs> I'm sorry, had done a drawing for, it was for her, in honor of her friend Josh, for Histio. I don't have the note with me. I want to say histiofibrosis, but I don't know if that's right or if I'm just combining it with AJ's thing. Histiotosis? I don't remember. But he ended up, he passed away, so she did a fundraiser. And if you did different things, like you bought um, yarn or you donated or you um, bought a turtle pattern, it donated money in. And for each $5, of donation, however it came, you got one entry. Well, I actually, um, I actually only got an entry because I bought Tiff the pattern because I thought she'd like the toy, the turtle. But it turned out I won a bag and I didn't know it. <laughs> but it, the bag is from Silver Pumpkin. It also came with a little turtle. I don't know if they came together or if she added it in or where the little turtle came from, but it's cute. Although, the way the cat's eyeing it up, I'm like, a cat toy. <laughs> and Tigger's going, woo! But this is actually made of a flannel, and it's got a big uh, zipper pull on here. I was thinking it was a stitch marker, but it's actually pretty attached, so it's more of a zipper pull. And it's got bright green on the inside that matches the handle. I've never, I actually didn't know, you said you had heard of Silver Pumpkin, I hadn't. Yeah, um, other podcasters, I think, have bought them from her. I think she... That could be. But yeah. it looks to be really well done, and it's super soft. So, that was very nice. Um, speaking of fundraisers, the fundraiser for AG's friend for the cystic fibrosis is still going. Um, I will put the, the prize thing at the end like I have been. But don't forget, you can win... A skein of my hand spun, you can win bags from Piddle Loop, you can win a skein of low mice, there's patterns to win, there's a oh there's a hand knit shawl. What am I forgetting? Oh, there's a bag from your friend. Davy, and Davey there's new dads and an ethereal fibers yarn. Yep, a custom skein of ethereal fibers yarn. I think that's everything. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Um so and the, the patterns to win are from CC Almond, who's uh Java Pearl of the Geeky Girls podcast, and she, one is a shawl and one is a her Doctor Who inspired sock pattern. So those are both uh, those are both there too. Um, I think the last thing we have is the throw. Yep. Okay. So so this is something we wanted to show and talk about. Our dad was in organ donor. Um, due to the nature of his accident, which we're not going to go into, they couldn't use the internal organs, but instead he became a tissue and bone marrow donor. Um, so what they said is that the, the tissue and, and bone marrow can, can save up to 50 people or you know, positively affect 50 people's lives. And this also includes like ligaments and tendons too. Yeah. With the bones and 
the bones. So, so people with the ACL. Yeah, ACL repair. I mean, they use the, the different layers of tissue for different things for, um, um, like when they, like even like do retinal things and all, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. There was a list. <laughs> there was a Sorry. list. And there's a little bit of me that kind of goes, that's fascinating, and you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of both. Yeah. The bone marrow can be used for leukemia. Um, it, there's a lot of positive things that come from it. Well, with the donation, it goes through the um, blood center of Wisconsin, Wisconsin Tissue Bank, is where, it, where his went. Um, and they asked if we would like some comfort shawls. So they sent three shawls, one for mom and one for each of us. And the group that does it is called Threads of Compassion. And I'm sure there's other groups. Actually, when I looked up Threads of Compassion, there was a group in Madison, in Chicago, in some different areas, and I'm sure other areas do it too. But they sent, there are three of them and they're all different. Um, we only have mine, but I'll post a picture at the end of all three. But it is a big shawl. Yeah, so it's more of a narrow throw than it is a shawl, honestly. Yeah. But so. it's meant to, like, really wrap yourself up in it. And it says that it's a volunteer group that knits or crochets comfort shawls for organ and tissue donor families. Um, in late August of 2005, you know, the Threads of Compassion was organized by a donor mother who was inspired to start a group who would knit and crochet comfort shawls for other donor families. Um, they, their goal is to knit comfort and love and prayers and hope into the shawls. It's a really long thing. I don't want to read the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and it's hoped that this small gift of compassion will bring these families comfort in their time of sorrow and transition. And then there's a very nice like poem on the inside. And we are thinking that next year, when it comes to the anniversary of Dad's passing, around that time, we will do a um, knit along and donate our and donate throws for the same purpose. Whether you send them to me and I take them over, or you take them to someplace local to you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure out. Yeah. Various organizations, because there might be, you know, for me, it might be easier. There's got to be something in the Vegas area if right. I'm still in Vegas at that time. Yeah, I was with my life right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, so we so, figured that would be a good thing to do. But we're going to... We're going to... We decided we don't want to do it now while the, our pain is still fresh. But we do know this is something we would like to then carry forward. And Mom said, you know, maybe we could do it on the podcast and have more people participate. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, there we go. And I think, I think that's everything. I think so. So I think we're done. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Um, Flancers, you need to send me your full name and address. And Cece, if you're watching, I normally, I told her that I normally always make sure I ship out before I record again. But we recorded a day early so that you could participate. <laughs> so. It's well, not, but I'll, I'll ship, uh, I will ship tomorrow. But she also knows that everything's wonky right now. So. Yeah, it's I mean, fine. I normally am really good about shipping right away, and it's just all, Yeah. I haven't even shipped the baby stuff yet. So, so all right. I will see you guys next week. She won't, but. Nope, not me. <laughs> Bye now. Bye.